Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to have a fun discussion on how your hunting rifle, specifically your hunting cartridge, is probably more powerful than you think. So how is that possible? Well, we're going to talk about it. It really depends on your location and more specifically your elevation. So in this video, we're going to show the numbers on how when you go up higher in elevation, you get better ballistics. Hope you enjoy the video. Most hunters buy factory ammo. And one nice thing on the box of factory ammo is the ballistics for this certain bullet. It's kind of nice, except for it's basically useless. Let me explain. <laughs> Rarely does your rifle shoot factory ammo the exact same velocity as what the box says. It's roughly around there. For example, I've shot this in my brother's 30 out 6 his rifle was shooting an, an average of 2,697 feet per second. So not as fast as what Federal says you can get. Now, why is this information kind of useless? Well, you really need to know your elevation and your temperature to really get accurate numbers. So yes, depending on your elevation, you can get better performance. And the industry standard for the ballistic data and what I've always done because it's kind of the industry standard and the baseline is to do the ballistics at sea level. So all of the data you find on factory ammo is going to be at sea level. And then when you go up in elevation, the air gets thinner and there is less drop. And because the air is thinner, there, your bullet will not slow down as much, putting it into really uh, dumbed down explanation. So when you're at higher elevation, your bullet's going to keep its velocity for farther out and your energy is going to go up and you're going to have less drop. But let's see what kind of difference it makes when you're shooting up high in the mountains. With elk season upon us and my personal elk hunt two weeks away, I thought I would use two elk cartridges as examples. So on my left is my personal hunting load in my 300 Weatherby. It's a 200 grain Acubond. On the right is my friend's 30-06 loaded with the 168 grain TTSX. Let's first get the baseline. We're going to start with my personal hunting rifle with the 300 Weatherby, 200 grain Acubond, BC of 0.588, uh, muzzle velocity of 3,100 feet per second, 4,268 foot pounds of energy, and at sea level, we're just going to go out to 400 yards. It's going 2,472 feet per second, and the energy is very good, 2,714 foot-pounds, and the drops, not bad at all either for how big the bullet is, 21.7 inches. Now let's see what it is when we adjust for elevation at where I hunt, 9,000 feet. Okay, now the adjusted BC is very interesting. So since we are at 9,000 feet, the BC adjusts to 0.825. That's pretty sweet. Now, the muzzle velocity is obviously going to be the same, and the muzzle energy is the same, but check out the difference, though, as we go out to 400 yards. The bullet's going 2,643 feet per second, almost 200 more feet per second faster, and that energy almost... 400 more foot-pounds of energy. 3,103 foot-pounds is insane at 400 yards. And then the drop, um, not a huge difference, about an inch. But yeah, I just wanted to show you one more ballistic chart. I understand a lot of you are not shooting big magnums like a 300 Weatherby. Uh, this is my friend's 168 grain TTSX load and it's 30-06. I know a lot of you shoot 30 out 6. So it has a pretty humble BC at sea level, 0 
Now he's got this thing going pretty quick, 2,930 feet per second. Pretty darn good energy at 3,200 foot-pounds. At 400 yards, it's going 2,184 feet per second, 1,780 foot-pounds. It's decent. And 26.5 inches of drop. Now, let's see what it does, though, when you shoot it at 9,000 feet. The adjusted BC, woo, 0.659, and then your bullet is going 200 feet per second faster, and then over 300, I think it's around 370 more foot-pounds of energy, roughly, and then about two inches less of drop. That's pretty cool. The 30-06 is a powerhouse at higher elevation. I thought it'd be fun to show you what kind of gains you get as you go higher up in elevation. So what I'm going to do is use my friend's data, 30-06, 168 grain, 29, 30 feet per second, 3203 foot pounds of energy. And then we're just going to go up from sea level all the way up to 8,000 feet, uh, go by 1,000 feet. So at sea level at 400 yards, we already know I've shown you, 1,780 foot pounds so once we get to a thousand feet of elevation your feet per second go up 24 and you're getting 40 more foot pounds so not a huge difference when you're at a thousand feet at 2000 almost 50 feet per second faster and almost 80 more well 80 more foot pounds of energy let's move on to 3000 feet 72 feet per second gain 120 foot pounds more and then 4000 feet almost up to 100 feet per second faster, 159 foot-pounds more. 5,000 feet we are at 118 feet per second gain, almost 200 foot-pounds more. 6,000 feet, 140 feet per second more, 235 foot-pounds. And as we keep going up, you can see it's it's a slow gain, but uh, it, it's it's a little noticeable especially when you jump from sea level to say 8,000 feet, you're gonna have now 300 more foot-pounds of energy. So I thought that you guys would like that because uh, I know not all of you are shooting at sea level or at eight or 9,000 feet. So what does it look like at your specific elevation and what kind of gains you'll get? Now, before you go hunting this fall, I think there's three things that you should do. Number one, Get a chronograph and test the velocity, whether it's your hand loads or it's factory ammo. Rarely is your bullet gonna be going the velocity that you think it is from the books or from the back of your ammo box. So it's really important to know your velocity so that you can figure out your trajectory and your wind drift. The next thing, you really need to know your elevation. This one's not hard, but as I said earlier, the ballistics on the back of the box are kind of useless if you're at 4,000 feet and it's at sea level, or even if you're at like 10,000 feet, uh, you're going to have much better ballistics. So know your elevation. And lastly, I didn't really get into this. That's my bad, but uh, know your temperature. Uh, the temperature also affects uh, the colder the temperature, uh, the more drop and more drag you're going to get with your bullet. So those three things, know your velocity, know your elevation, and know your temperature. Guys, have a great hunting season and best of luck to you.